Hello and welcome to our market view presentation. Today we will be discussing and analysing two foreign exchange rates and comparing foreign currencies against the Australian dollar. The two sets of currencies that we will be analysing today will be the Australian dollar and the US dollar and the Australian dollar and the euro. The analysis of these currencies will consist of a fundamental analysis, which includes interest, inflation and economic growth, a technical analysis which analyzes the rates over a period of time and a final future prediction of what may happen to the exchange rate in the future. Today we'll be discussing the AUD against the USD. In our forecasting and analysis of the pairs of currencies, we'll be utilizing the technical analysis and fundamental analysis knowledge gathered, which will give us a good indicator of where the exchange rate is going to become. Currently, the AUD to USD is trading at 80.2 US cents which means that one Aussie dollar will buy you around 80.02 US cents. The first piece of evidence we are presenting is a long-term performance of AUD against the USD. In this figure, it is clear to say that the exchange rate between these two countries is often very volatile, resulting in many peaks and troughs. The exchange rate averages out to be priced at 80 to 85 US cents, hitting peaks of $1.10 US and lows of around 60 cents during the global financial crisis in 2007 to 2008. Ever since the GFC, the price has been gradually appreciating to the peak just discussed by June 2011, likely because of the Australian mining boom. Since June 2011, the price has gradually depreciated to a price of around 70 cents, 70 US cents, to the start by the start of the 2015. Fundamental analysis: interest rates. Currently, according to the RBA, the cash rates in Australia are at around 1.5%, which are on a downward trajectory but currently stabilising, after being upwards of 15% in the early 90s. The cash rates in the US, according to a, to a website titled Global Rights, Global Rates, are currently at 1.25% but rising, after being at 0.25% by the beginning of 2016. Generally, the view was that an increase in interest rates will encourage capital inflow, therefore increased demand, which then discourages capital outflow and decreases the supply of the domestic currency. This is supported by the correlation between the interest rate and the US Australian dollar value. As cash rates have rose and fallen, the exchange rate has also appreciated and depreciated in terms of the USD. Between 05 and 08, when interest rates were steadily rising, the AUD appreciated against the USD, reaching almost one US dollar by the end of 07. As cash rates fell by mid-2008, the AUD appreciated against the USD and so on and so forth, resulting in a very clear correlation. When comparing the interest rates of the US and the correlation it has on the US dollar, we were met with very similar circumstances. As the, cash, as the US cash rate increased as it has since the beginning of 2016, the US increased when compared to other currencies such as the Euro and more interestingly, the AUD. Therefore, it is safe to assume that the cash rate has a very obvious and meaningful relationship with the exchange rate. Currently, the inflation rate according to the RBA, which is measured by the Consumer Price Index, CPI, is at 1.9% ending July 2017. Historically, the CPI has been fluctuating from 1.5% to around 5% since 2001, peaking at 5% in September 2008. If a country such as Australia, who has a very rich exporting history, has a rising inflation rate, they will experience less demand for our exports because it is relatively more expensive than other nations' goods. Thus, there is a less of a demand for the AUD. Furthermore, with an increased inflation rate, and therefore lowering domestic purchasing power, there is more of a demand for imports, therefore an increase of capital outflow from Australia, essentially devaluing the exchange rate and depreciating the AUD against the USD. The inflation rate has a slight correlation with the exchange rate. It is clear to see that when inflation rises as it does around 2008, the AUD depreciates against the US dollar. Therefore, as inflation lowers in 2010, the AUD appreciates again against the USD. In the case of the US, where the inflation has been slightly rising since 2013, it has had little to no effect on the exchange rate. This could be because of a couple of factors. Firstly, when the US gets into debt, they generally try to combat this by printing more money, which in theory should raise inflation, but it doesn't. And secondly, because most currencies are measured on the stock exchange against the US. For example, when quoting currencies, it is most of the time quoted with the US as the terms, Therefore, it is unlikely that domestic inflation will have a huge bearing on the US exchange rate, thus meaning it is harder to determine whether it appreciates or depreciates against the Australian dollar. Economic growth. 
Traditionally, economic growth is measured in terms of the GDP and the improvements or declines to con constitute how a nation's economy is growing. In regards to the Australian economy, it has essentially dropped by $400 billion. Australia's GDP peaked at around $1.5 trillion in 2013, but before that entered into a strong growth period starting around 2010. When it comes to exchange rate determination, an, ex an increased demand for imports will increase the supply of Australian dollars. Furthermore, an increase in the level of overseas borrowing, which is used to finance the increased investment undertaken by domestic economic agents, will increase the demand for AUD, and therefore mean that the AUD will appreciate in terms of the USD. In comparison to the USD, this theory falls down in practice, as the US doesn't necessarily follow the economic growth as tightly as the Australian dollar does. This might be attributed to the fact that the US population will prefer to keep borrowing from domestic avenues instead of from overseas. In information given by Imi Health, which is a well-known travel guide website, suggests that Americans view their country as the world in their eyes, and that most people are not aware of the happenings outside of the US. When a country has a view such as this, it is unlikely that they will branch out and strive to finance their investment from overseas. In conclusion, due to the macroeconomic factors looked at and the historical performance analysed, we believe that the Australian dollar will appreciate against the US dollar for a number of factors, as we have discussed, including the Australian exchange rate correlating against the interest rates, which are tips to rise by the big banks and the head of the RBA, inflation rates and economic growth to a measurable way. It is our final prediction that in the next three to six months, the AUD will appreciate against the USD. Today we will be discussing the AUD to the Euro. We will be basing our analysis of various technical analysis indicators and also some key factors occurring that we believe may impact on this currency. The first indicator that we will discuss is the six month chart of the AUD to Euro and its movement during this time. As seen in figure 5 provided by XE.com, the AUD to Euro started the six month period very well. The AUD to Euro closed on the 1st of April at 0.716. As the graph demonstrates, this was the peak of the dollar and indicated a bullish decision for investors wishing to secure the euro at a good rate and a bearish decision for those investors with the Australian to sell as the fall of the euro as the AUD to euro seemed likely. As seen on the graph, the Australian dollar fell to as low as 0.658 on the 1st of June. Since then, the dollar has gradually increased to where it is now at 0.67. Moving on, in the following graph, we take a look at the six-month moving average. A good rule of thumb is that if the movement is above the average, then it indicates an upward trend, and inversely, if it is below, then it is a signal that there is a downward trend. Currently, the daily closing trades of the AUD to Euro is below the average. It is based on this understanding from the two graphs provided that the AUD to Euro is levelling out and only fluctuates above and below the six-month average ever so slightly, and therefore can predict that within the next three to six months, the AUD to Euro will only slightly decrease. There have been several points of discussion in the last three months that have impacted on the AUD to Euro. With the recent terror attacks in Europe, particularly in France and Spain, it can be expected that some investors may lose faith in the economy and therefore an increase in the AUD to Euro may result. However, unlike the 9-11 attacks in the USA, recent terror attacks have seen an increase in this currency. In an article posted on time.com on November 18, 2015, author Paul Lim states that the following terror attacks in Paris, the Euro, rose about 3%. As terror attacks and hostility in the region are expected to maintain, we can predict that the demand for the euro will not diminish amidst potential damage. As the RMIT financial markets topic 5B slide state, a high inflation rate compared to its trading partner would create less demand for exports and therefore less demand for AUD and more demand for imports and therefore more supply of the AUD. A high interest rate would in essence result in a depreciation of the currency. As figures 7a and 7b provided below show, the inflation rate of Australia is 1.9%, compared to the euro 1.5%. It can be estimated that a depreciation of the Australian dollar to euro would continue whilst these inflation rates remain the same. The traditional view is that an increased interest rate will encourage capital inflow, increasing the demand for the AUD, discouraging capital outflow, decreasing the supply of the AUD and therefore would result in an appreciation of the AUD to euro. Looking at figure 8a, a predicted increase in the interest rate from the European Central Bank from 0.0% to 0.25% in the next quarter suggests that a further appreciation of the euro dollar can be expected. According to the Reserve Bank of Australia, figure 8b shows the current interest rate of 1.5% is to be sustained. 
suggested that there will be no sudden increase in the demand for the AUD as a result of interest rate changes. Following from the RMIT lecture slides, it can be suggested that a continued fall in the AUD to Euro exchange rate can be expected for the next three to six months. The exchange rate expe expectation theory suggests that expectations about future exchange rates can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. For example, if a currency is expected to appreciate, speculators will buy the currency. This in turn will increase the demand for the currency, causing it to appreciate. Figure 9 shows the National Australian Bank forecast of the AUD to Euro for the next five periods predicts that this exchange rate will fall from 0.67 to 0.60. Assuming that the speculators are rational investors, they will short on this currency and therefore the self-fulfilling prophecy mentioned before will eventuate, leading to a fall in the AUD to Euro. To conclude, we believe that due to the technical and fundamental analysis undertaken, the currency AUD will depreciate against the Euro within the next three to six months.